wow. Guys, look, today we're doing Animal Kingdom. Love the shirt. We got this at the Disney outlet. Me and Mike are worried that some, some people might think we're cast members. But that's not what I want to tell you. What I want to tell you, first of all, you guys, is these American ovens drive me crazy? They're really, I don't know. I don't see the logic. I know our American friends going to hate me because here I am in your country criticizing your stuff. Please know that I mean well, but they drive me crazy. They really drive me. We tried everything. We tried everything. And yes, one would say, now that they're all marked with words, it all speaks for itself, but really it doesn't. It doesn't. So, it I don't know. Beeping. It keeps beeping. I don't know. It just, it, it, it's just a, some sort of a haunted oven. It does what it wants. But, this is so cute, you guys. You have palm olive as detergent. As, um, is that how we call it? Detergent? Yeah, for... Um, for um, you know, doing the dishes. Washing up liquid. We know palm, palm olive only as either shampoo or uh, shower gel. Washing up liquid. We have drift. Oh, it smells the same. Cheesy yeah. guys, it's all the same, no, just drift different is, names. Drift is called fairy, I think. Oh yeah, you guys call it fairy. fairy <laughs> we should have had fairy. <laughs> we should have had fairy liquid. <laughs> but. Honestly, it smells the same. So, to our friends in Holland, this is Dreft. We have Dreft here, they call it palm olive. You see how they make fun of us consumers? We're like, oh no, you have your own this, you earn that. It's all the same, you guys. Just different etiquette, just different sticker. So I'm gonna do the dishes, because I like to keep it clean, although we have housekeeping, but we're not savages, you guys. Always try to leave stuff. That's why my grandma used to say, never show someone else that you need him or her to clean after you. Even if it's their job, make sure that you show them that you're proper by yourself. You don't need anyone to clean after you. So that's, that's how we were raised. So yeah, so you do have housekeeping, but we'd like to keep it civilized and just, you know, clean and all that. Yes, this oven. I love it. I love it. Guys, think of the easy recipes I could do with this oven. If I could just figure out how it works. Talk to me, man. All right. It's supposed to be very, very hot today. Even worse than yesterday. Tomorrow will be the right one. Tomorrow it's going to be even hotter. So we're really struggling with this weather as the day progresses. And the crazy thing is, we, there is a chance that we might not be able to get our flight home on time. If, because there is a, there are, we've been reading some news uh, over, uh, about uh, Europe, West Europe, and they have multiple storms, multiple storms, you guys, one after another. So, and it just goes on and on and on. And it's so crazy because when you see this in Florida, you forget that elsewhere, elsewhere in the world, that kind of weather can exist. But yeah, it is. So, we've seen that our airport in Amsterdam is canceling flights. Oh yeah, they've canceled about 120 flights. It's a lot of airplanes. Yesterday, 120 flights. Yeah. So let's just hope that we'll be able to get home on time if they don't cancel our flight. But um, yeah, there is a chance. Yeah, because there's now a storm developing off the coast of Canada that will hit Western Europe in a few days. Yeah, Saturday. And we will be flying on Saturday, so. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. It's don't exciting. Know. <laughs> we'll see. So it's almost 10 in the morning, it's 9.42. We were hoping to find less people at the gate. But as you can see, it's one river of people. Even if it's this late, 
relatively for the Disney park in the morning. We're just gonna see how we're gonna hold up because neither me or Mike can handle heat that well. Well, you know, this park always feels uh, much hotter than it is. Yeah, true, that too. But the temperature itself is high today. Plus this park and everyone knows that and everyone feels that because you talk to people around you. They all say Animal Kingdom for some reason always feels hotter than other parks. Oh well, it's just gonna, just gonna check it out you guys and enjoy ourselves. Take you with us. Luckily you don't have to handle the heat. Just watch it from your cozy space. Yeah. So today, because it's, I think it's busy, they don't make people go through the metal detector. So I asked him, do we have to go through that? But he was a funny guy. He's like, it depends on what kind of look you give me. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But yeah, so it's probably that busy. So the lines don't look too bad. But again, you guys, it's, nine, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, so majority of people is already in, trying to get the most out of the... Trying to get on Flight of Passage. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get on Flight of Passage, that too. Let's try the pass, annual pass holder entrance. You guys seen my slider? Always put that one around your magic band. It really helps. They don't give them out anymore. Sometimes. They don't give them out anymore, no. So if you have one, cherish it. We just passed the photographer and he was really backed up there. The queue. Big queue. Was serious. A big queue. Big queue. Whenever I say the word Q, it reminds me of Q of Star Trek. What's his, what's his name, Q? Q. I love that character. <laughs> I'm sure many of you do too. It's just so annoying. Let's go to Starbucks, get some fuel. Huh? What? The queue is not all the way. No, the queue is not too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Let's see how it looks from the inside. Oh, well, for Starbucks, this is not bad. Yeah, shall we just go here? We Guys, we've been standing here for five minutes, no movement at all. So I've been looking at it, trying to analyze it. I think the whole concept is wrong. We have too many people in the wrong places. I was telling Mike, but you guys share your thoughts with me. I was telling Mike, if I was to make this investment, I would put as less people at the checkout because all they do is take your orders. They don't do a thing. And then put more people that will actually make your coffee because right now they have only one. Can you imagine only this guy right here? Only that guy, you can't see him. Behind that old man, they insist to block the view. Right here, only one guy that makes all the orders. How, how, why is that logical? And then you have one lady that does only the lid on your cup. All she does is put the lid on it, add some cream. And she's almost 50% of the time just standing, not doing anything. 
because she needs to wait for him to finish all these orders. So the only one that's working his butt off right here is this poor guy right here. He works like a machine because he makes all the orders. All these people right here are just doing a little dance. No disrespect those people. I'm just looking at it from a business mind and conveniency. This really is the weirdest concept ever. And it's not, not, not just like in the US, it's everywhere. It's just a concept, but it's really, it really doesn't work. I hope this guy gets a raise. Look, there she is. She's gonna stand again, just standing. See, just standing. She does that standing, just the standing, almost every 40 seconds. Sometimes a minute. And this is why you have to wait at Starbucks. Lemon loaf. I'm sorry guys, I meant to say not him because he's the checkout. I meant to say her. This sweet, nice girl here, she's making all the orders because look, this is her station. This is where the magic happens. She's do she does all the orders of, of us all. So she should get all the credit. And from me, I salute her. I salute you, strong girl. It was so crazy, just like that. Everyone was helped. <laughs> and it was empty, just like that. Let me tell you one thing, you guys, just to correct. Just direct any misassumption. Everyone in there works hard. We do not want to do anyone wrong with our, with my analyzing the whole thing. It's just me, I'm an outsider. I don't know if that's how it works. But once you get to the front, you see that everyone does what they need to be doing, so. <laughs> and they're always so sweet and friendly. It's just us that sometimes get impatience. But yeah, coffee's good. We have our lemon loaf. We're gonna find a nice place. I wish they had a bench here. Yeah. Nice place and then enjoy our coffee. Tree of life. Yeah? Oh, here's a bench in the sun. <laughs> it's always nice to be so close to the tree. Representation of Mother Earth. Huh? We did do it a couple of years. Yeah, we did. We even have the pictures. Of the tree of life, you guys. It's a concept that is known in many faiths and cultures. I don't think we have it in my faith, in Islam. But I know you guys have it in Genesis, Christianity, Judaism. And in many other cultures around the world. But I haven't found it in my holy book. I think what it represents is just Mother Nature. And that's something we all have in all faiths. Whoa, the backside of water. Yeah, here's another bench. It's cute though. Yeah, that one is nice. Look, can you get that spray? Look, there's another bench. In that, in that little place right there. Wow, you guys, at the feet of Mother Nature. This is beautiful. Oh, this is nice. This is the best. I think we found our best spot. <laughs> guys, I know we call dips on, on the uh, red chairs somewhere, but no. We're all releasing those from our name. You can use them. We now have cold dips. We now call dips on this spot. Make sure it's free when we're around or else. But man, you guys, I wish I can transport you all to here. This place right now is just heaven. It's just amazing. It's, it's what you call the perfect spot. Yes, there is such thing, the perfect spot. It's this one. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh my God, the breeze and the spray you get, that lo little cold water spray you get, it's awesome. All right, let's enjoy this. I'm gonna sit down, ask the mic, and enjoy it. Enjoy this view. Oh my God, amazing.
So even after all these years, we're still discovering new animals. Yeah, on the it really is. We just discovered a dolphin. So we have a rhino. We have an eagle. Crazy enough, or maybe not. You guys can find two eagles here. One there, one here. It's the only animal that's copied twice. Uh, so we have rhino and eagle. We have uh, moose. No, not moose. An elk. That we call an elk. Bambi's father. We have a turtle. Let me see. We have a turtle. We have some lizard over here. Right here. Oh, right here. We have the eagle. We have the lion. Where's the lion? Wait, I'm too zoomed in too much. Sorry about that, you guys. So we have the lion right here. We have the spider, tarantula. We have an alligator. We have one of these animals. I keep forgetting the name. I know exactly who, what it is. He has like uh, some sort of a turtle shield on his back, but he looks like a little donkey. It's right here. And then you have a monkey right here. Right here. What else? You have a horse. You can only see his, his, his legs right here. You have a camel. You have a dolphin. This dolphin we just discovered after all these years. What else? A seahorse. Libella. I don't know how you call it in English. This one. Oh, dragonfly. It's called the dragonfly, I think. You have some sort of an otter, I think. So a spider and a turtle. Yeah. And a and a and a beaver. This looks like a beaver. Yeah. Look, I've seen them all. Yes, mentioned it all. I got it all. I got it all. I got it all. I see it all. You see it all. I see it all. Like my own. Yeah, see, I, I, where? Lizard? No, 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 that's an otter. And there is another rhino right here. See, you can see his. Um, is there maybe an elephant? Not really sure. You can see the tusk and I see the, a goat. The tusk, yeah. And I see a turtle. Yeah, you see a goat right here. Is that a goat? Looks like a lizard. And a spider. Yeah. And a but then what is this? Is this a deer? The yeah, I've seen the camel. Is this a deer? Right here? Wait, 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 wait. let me zoom in. Right here. I think that's a deer. Oh, deer. That's a deer. Ha ha ha. Ha you guys. This place, I uh, really feel bliss. I feel the bliss of the moment. Real, real plants, real shrubbery and greenery is starting to uh, grow on these artificial branches. That's really nice. Look who we have there. Wow. Whoever is in there must be a very thin person because the legs are really, really thin. That's cute. It's really cute. Look, in case you think that Disney assumes that we can all survive and that it's not that bad, look, they're taking really good care of themselves. Look at the airco go. It almost blows the glass out of the window. And then look at us walking in the sun.
I feel like today's visit to Animal Kingdom, today's vlog will be all about seeking shades. I think. I have to go door, but I can't in the zone. Oh man, maybe right there? See? Where? Yeah. No, but this is all in the sun. Is it? I think so. No? Uh, yeah, ish. A bit. Okay. All right. A so, a bit. for you, shade yeah, seekers. I'm completely in shades. Yeah, now I see what yeah, you mean. It's okay. Now Can I'm. Go go? Yeah, let's go. Let's call Bef this. Before someone takes those benches. Oh, I think it's completely sealed off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? It is. That's why nobody's sitting there. What? Now I can see those little, what? Yeah? Okay. Wow. If at the bottom is open, then we just have to go through the bottom side. <laughs> That's not what I meant, guys. It came out wrong. No, it's closed. So why would they close it here? Jeez. So annoying. Guys, I'm sorry. It's just, huh? If we're not giving a nice vibe in these vlogs, but si since the sun is beaming down, pounding down on us, it's really difficult for me, for me at least, really difficult to uh, stay in a good mood. It just drains you, really really drains you ah oh my god it's like you're living in an oven constantly you know, we've decided to uh, do dinosaur oh man and then head for hollywood studios maybe yeah because we made our own lightsabers we just want to make sure that we have enough um how do you say that enough Kyber enough kyber crystals to, to choose all from the, all the colors we're gonna have all and the colors you know that there's a store there i forgot what it's called but it's it's the one store uh, i think somebody's walking up to us no no oh she can't get to, get to us <laughs> no, it's open all right okay look behind you all right so um there's one store which sells it and they also sell the uh, character lightsabers so that's not the ones you can make but it's the character like Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, um, Luke's or as we now call it Ray's Ray, lightsaber yeah. um, and they sell these uh, kyber crystals so that they have six colors you can pick one of six colors when you make your own lightsaber. Yeah, I think they have green, red, white, purple, purple, blue, blue, and, and what is yellow. that? Yellow. Yellow. Okay. Yeah. So, and me and Mike, we have only two between us, the red and, so and the blue. And then we. And the blue. And what we should have done is get the other colors as well. Yeah. I think. You know, I'm not sure if this experience will continue. I'm not. I'm not sure either. We were uh, saying, get you, if you want to do your own lightsaber building experience, you guys, do it whenever you can, as fast as you can, because it's really time consuming. Knowing Disney, anything that's time consuming and thus doesn't help mass uh, uh, groups is uh, not a thing so that will remain for too long. Because what happens now, they take you in groups of about 10 or 11, not really sure. You go inside and there is a whole show. Well, you've, you've seen it by now, you guys, because we're, fi we're filming for you. But if you happen to drop in this video, about eight cast members at least walking around. And it's this guy that's doing the main uh, uh, storytelling. And so it's a whole, whole ceremony. It's really a ceremony. Uh, and we just feel like that's not what... Disney. Let's just get it before it's too late. Yeah, let's just get it before <laughs> it's too late. No, 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 but I'm also giving information to the people that want to build yeah. the lightsaber. Just know that it looks like something that won't be around for too long the way that it's presented right now. Yeah. So that's what I mean. I know we should just uh, give them the summary and get the, the colors, but I, I was trying to give additional information here because I know that some people we know, like Baz, Tina and Baz, 
you can't wait to do their own lightsaber. I just, I, I want, I would love for him, for them to have the same experience. So I hope by then they still do the storytelling, they still do the ceremony and all that. Yeah, because there are a lot of things that are cut now, like when Galaxy's Edge opened, they said you would have certain credits for. Rides. Yeah, 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 and they will, and then and they, they will treat you depending. Depending on how the ride, yeah, they'll treat you like either a rebel or someone that's uh, that joined the, the, the what is it, the empire. But none of that is happening. You're just there and you're on your own. Yeah. So there are things changing. I think the only one, uh, the only stuff that uh, have chance to survive in Disney World are stuff that help as many visitors at the same time as possible. Wow, look at that view, you guys. It's beautiful. I would love, love to be able to be on a boat and just, but then a boat with a little roof and then just room around these lakes. So guys, on days like this, make sure you drink enough, even though you don't feel thirsty because that's what happens to me. Even though when you don't feel thirsty, make sure you drink regularly because that helps your system to cool off and you, to, your body, your inner body to relax. And we got also, this. I'm allergic to almost everything. Yeah, Mike is allergic to almost anything. So we got these water, uh, water wipes that don't have anything else but, but water, certainly no alcohol. So we're gonna try these and wipe our faces just to freshen up a little bit because it's really needed. Stay in, in uh, as long as possible in the shades, look for shady places. Look for shady places, drink enough water, something to refresh. Make sure you have a hat on or a cap, sunglasses. Make sure you have your sunblocks applied on your skin. Guys, when you have your water wipes and you open the pack, just make sure that it's in a plastic bag so that it won't dry out. Otherwise, it won't be of any use. <laughs> 